मॉर्निंग दुर्गा गुड मॉर्निंग चिंटू गुड मॉर्निंग करुण कर गुड मॉर्निंग दुर्गा गुड मॉर्निंग भारत गुड मॉर्निंग फरीद शुमा गुड मॉर्निंग अनु गुड मॉर्निंग स्नेहा गुड मॉर्निंग स्वाति गुड मॉर्निंग साजिद विशेष या गुड मॉर्निंग अविनाश गुड मॉर्निंग ललिता मनीषा गुड मॉर्निंग श्रुति गुड मॉर्निंग दुर्गा गुड मॉर्निंग वंस अगेन जहानवी गुड मॉर्निंग श्रीनो गुड गुड मॉर्निंग अनन्या गुड मॉर्निंग विश्वंत गुड मॉर्निंग सुनीता गुड मॉर्निंग कविता गुड मॉर्निंग गोपी गुड मॉर्निंग निकिता गुड मॉर्निंग वेमा रॉयल गुड मॉर्निंग भारत गुड मॉर्निंग नागा हरिका गुड मॉर्निंग एंड कविता गुड मॉर्निंग श्री राम गुड मॉर्निंग प्रीति गुड मॉर्निंग भवानी गुड मॉर्निंग एंड गुड मॉर्निंग टू एवरी वन आउट देर मोहन राव गुड मॉर्निंग कोलुसु गुड मॉर्निंग एंड चक्रधर 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 कट्टा गुड मॉर्निंग सो बच्चो आई गोट अ कॉल फ्रॉम स्टूडेंट सींग दैट Your class timing is seven o'clock. No, it is seven ten. In fact, it is seven fifteen, I think. But then it was printed as seven ten. Because next time, next class is you know eight ten or eight fifteen. So here we have like end to end, cut to cut. Even offline classes are like that. My dear children, please tell me what we were doing in the last class. Please remind me what we were doing. Good morning, Kavya Shri. Good morning, Saraswati. Saraswati. Good morning, Akash. Akshya. Good morning, Sheikh. Good morning. Good morning, Venkatesh. Good morning, Rami Reddy. Good morning, uh, Swati. Good morning, Sahiti. Good morning, Harshini. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Is exam based on NCERT? Ha, beta. Obviously. Good morning, Rami Reddy. Good morning, Vishwant. Good morning, Durga Prasad. Good morning, Monica. I thought of keeping the syllabus a little more, but uh, it was decided. So, uh, मतलब we have to keep it common for all the sections, including boys and girls, and online. Okay. So, Nidaria we were doing, na? Nidaria completed, or we we have to start with Nidaria. Come on. Nidaria complete हो गया. Nidaria complete. Very good. Very good. Okay, बच्चों, tell me what is the scientific name of brain coral? Come on, brain coral. Brain coral. Scientific name. <coughs> scientific name of brain coral. Lisha, good morning. Kavita, good morning. Navid, good morning. Kriti, good. Me and Rina, very good. Correct answer. Me and Rina. Brain coral, mean Rina, very good. And I hope you know the meaning of. Uh, can you please tell me, Hydra, Hydra, Hydra is fresh water or marine. Hydra is fresh water or marine. Come on, tell me. Hydra is fresh water or marine. Who will tell me? Yes, I got three correct answers, and uh, four correct, five correct, six correct. I don't know. I mean, like, very good, very good. I think I did not tell yesterday, but when you are answering, it is absolutely correct. So please remember about Hydra. Yes, someone has written very correctly. He says or she says that sir, it is polyp and fresh water. It is a polyp and fresh water Hydra. Hydra. It is a polyp form and it is a fresh water form. Mostly forms are marine forms, but Hydra is fresh water. Good, very good. Hmm. Open, open chain here. Very good. Okay. Now tell me, C fan, fan, C fan, F A N fan. Hmm. Gorgonia. You guys are pro now. You guys have become pro. Yes. Very good. So I think I asked two, three question. Two, three. Now fourth question I'm asking, and my fourth question is name the name the <clears throat> triploblastic 
एसिलोमेट बायोलेट्रली सिमेट्रिकल फाइलम ट्रिप्लोब्लास्टिक एसिलोमेट बायोलेट्रली सिमेट्रिकल फाइलम इट इज प्लेटी हेलमेंट प्लेटी हेलमेंट बेटा डू यू रिमेंबर द क्वेश्चन ऑफ मणिपुर मणिपुर क्वेश्चन बिकॉज इट इज दे आर देर इन माई मोबाइल फोन but uh, uh, i don't know how to put them on the tv and manipur there was a statement based question and i know that all of you can do it and it is based on whatever we have done so far it is based on that for example adults of echinodermata are radially symmetrical uh, i think this question came in our own you know all india neat examination manipur neat examination because yesterday i was selecting questions of manipur neat examination to put in our uh, latest edition of gym material and there i found a beautiful question and they say that plate helminthes uh, are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic and pseudocoelomate so statement is wrong like that statements are there okay either you do it if i make a paper i will give that question pakka pakka i will give that question any idea how we can uh, show that question uh, i have that in my mobile phone can we put it on this one <coughs> is there any possibility <coughs> okay <coughs> Let, let's move further and bachcho now i'll start with tino for of lm tino my questions are not over and the, my fourth question <coughs> i asked you and you have uh, given the correct answer my fifth question i am asking you name the two phylum which are diploblastic and radially symmetrical diploblastic and radially symmetrical kavesh share it through bluetooth screen share beta ye sab nahi aata beta na zara screen screen nahi aata okay i will try once i will try once then okay i send it to jo and uh, this is the one 2023 questions this file i have to uh, send a uh, reply forward i have to forward this file out of this and then select it through bluetooth i think it is easy not that difficult i have to select it through the bluetooth it is going through bluetooth no yaar so nahi aa raha it is not coming easily whatsapp instagram drive here ye aa nahi raha yaar gmail and uh, forward document paytm telegram outlook it's not coming any other way of sending the document bluetooth first of all bluetooth sharing let us share it through bluetooth the two device okay and realme this is airdops uh jr geo step no this is not bluetooth setting bluetooth setting is nahi beta i'm not able to do do we have to start the bluetooth of this one or it is already started do we have to switch on the bluetooth i'm totally dumb fellow here in this regard now i'm totally dumb fellow okay i'll give a small try and then whatever okay so bluetooth will go here i think we can get the home and in home here we don't get bluetooth here we may get a bluetooth but so you screen share and a screen share a screen share a screen share it cannot come through screen share because it is uh, the you know uh, zip file so zip file it cannot open it only it can open ssid password hotspot uh, input application input output channel leave it leave it anyone who is having the anyone but who is having that question <clears throat> i will read the options for you because right now i cannot even read because it is a zip file and iphone doesn't open the zip file ha huh, bachcho the question is uh, it is the question based on this chapter and uh, this came in the manipur manipur examination manipur so if you got that question you can just cut that question and send it to me whatsapp i'll read it okay fine 
go to bluetooth setting and tap on accept the file and you can share it sir bluetooth setting ekda hai kahan par bluetooth setting bluetooth isme koi bluetooth hai nahi hai let's make it first pc pc karke pc bluetooth setting bluetooth pc mein bluetooth yahan par aata hai pc bluetooth is here okay then allow a device to connect join a personal open setting allow a device to connect allow a device to connect show bluetooth devices okay so now this it is showing the bluetooth devices okay and uh, well this anurag pair you can see okay touch device i think there is only one anurag here how it is paired galaxy note 10 light okay so last try last try uh because bluetooth ye uh, air dogs got it got it desktop desktop yeah add a device tap tap to set up your iphone okay allow connection succeeded okay done so now this seems to be connected so now i have to open again my whatsapp and uh, here goes zip file i'll share with bluetooth uh bluetooth bluetooth save search with google lens edit actions iphone or beta sorry but it is not coming ye yahan pe kahan hai ga bluetooth yaar ye nahi ye yahan yahan par we send like this ab ye kiya okay and uh, where is bluetooth coming here इसमें ब्लूटूथ नहीं आ रहा बेटा आई थिंक यू आर गेटिंग माई पॉइंट ऑल द थिंग्स आर कमिंग बट नॉट ब्लूटूथ फेसबुक इंस्टा व्हाट्सएप कोरा ऑल आर कमिंग एट द साइड नहीं आ रहा बेटा कहा है साइड पे देखो साइड में नहीं आ रहा साइड में ये ये तो सारे वो है और ब्लूटूथ इनमें से कोई भी नहीं है कॉपी uh, किया नीचे भी गए प्रिंट नाउ क्विक नोट सेव टू फाइल्स सर्च विद गूगल लेंस एडिट एक्शन ओके बच्चो सो आई होप दैट आई एम वेरी श्योर यू कैन डू दैट क्वेश्चन बिकॉज द स्टेटमेंट्स आर सो इजी दैट विदाउट गिविंग अ बिग थिंकिंग यू गाइज कैन डू इट बट देन always always make sure that you are solving the previous year question particularly the recent question and not only the main paper but also the phase 2 paper okay last year also phase 2 paper happened in some states and this year also phase 2 paper happened in manipur and uh, it is available very easily available and uh, i can also make it available you can just ping me i will send that uh, you know scan paper to you guys okay so you can do that one i was asking you questions and my next question uh, my next question is uh, this okay tell me tell me the uh, tell me the non invertebrate chordate subphylum tell me subphylum which are chordate but not vertebrate subphylum which are chordate but not vertebrate Shrinu, he is saying that he has sent me a question. 
how lovely children are dekho beta how cooperative students are okay very good and uh, <clears throat> he sent me a question he says i believe you have sent a question to me good yes he has sent me a question okay i read the question so you have to listen to the statements very carefully everyone please listen to the statement yeah answer of this question is euro coordinate and cephalo coordinate very good uh, sub phylum euro coordinate and cephalo coordinate are the invertebrate coordinate they are the coordinate phyla they are they are the coordinate but they are not the vertebrate they are invertebrate coordinate very good now my next question is the manipur paper and uh, there are a b c d e f okay so these statements are there and you have to look uh, you have to listen to all the statements carefully because there can be all five correct or maybe three correct or maybe four correct like that okay so statement one says that platyhelminths are triploblastic pseudocoelobate and bilaterally symmetrical okay uh, i repeat platyhelminths are triploblastic pseudocoelobate and bilaterally symmetrical then question the statement number b next statement is tenophores reproduce only sexually and fertilization is external right so we know that internal fertilization in non chordate are papa ppaa right the porifera uh, we know that porifera is uh, the one then the two worms right platyhelminths and ascalminths these are the uh, internal fertilization to so they say tenophora obviously external fertilization next statement in tapeworm fertilization is internal but sexes are not separate they say that sexes are not separate in tapeworm yes in tapeworm they are hermaphrodite and fertilization is internal correct in the same trick you can do that okay like papa trick this is a, a flat worm in flat worm it is internal and also i told you that the <coughs> sexes are not separate the first phylum to have separate sexes is ascalminths right next statement is tenophores are exclusively marine diploblastic with bioluminescence with bioluminescent organisms and bioluminescent organisms right and next statement is in sponges fertilization is external and development is direct sponges fertilization is external and development is direct okay now anyone who know the answer they can say sir a b c d correct or b c d correct or sir b c e correct you can tell me <clears throat> okay very good very good preeti your answer is correct first one is false second third and fourth are true and fifth one is false very good i will now again read the false statement okay the first statement says platyhelminths are triploblastic till here correct pseudocoelomate wrong and bilaterally symmetrical correct only one word wrong is pseudocoelomate next statement wrong is the last one and this very clear in sponges fertilization is external and development is uh, direct we know that they have internal fertilization with indirect development okay you understand i believe this question is oh my god they have given this question in section b section b me question diya hai ye and uh, well you can even do it by just going through i mean they have not even uh, we are not supposed to go internally in any phylum just the rules here are uh, tricks and the basis of classification is enough to answer such question right plus i have seen the question in the main neat examination it is easier than this question in the main neat examination okay 
So in the main NEET examination, I will read the question for you in the main NEET examination, guys. Just listen. And now everyone has to listen. I will not repeat the correct answer like that. You have to be very careful about the correct answer. Okay, beta? Okay, done. So I am now, everyone, question number one. Given below are two state nephridia muscles. No, not this one. Uh, this is fine. Preview content. Yeah. Question number one. Radial symmetry is not found in adult of phylum. Again, the question from basis of classification. I said that if you can do basis of classification correctly and the example, 90%, more than 90% question you can answer. Now, this question is again from basis of classification. It says radial symmetry is not found in adult of phylum. Right. So, adult of phylum, hemichordata, cylindrata, echinodermata, tenophora. So, cylindrata, tenophora, okay, it is present. And echinodermata present, answer is hemichordata. Hemichordata is the correct answer. Okay, beta? Dekho, beta. Adult of echinodermata, present. Adult of tenophora, present. Adult of cylindrata, present. But adult of hemichordata, not present. Correct. Right. Okay. <clears throat> Adult of hemichordata, bilateral symmetry. Next question. It is about mammalian question, a special feature of the mammals, and uh, then pharyngeal gill slits, mid dorsal, solid double nerve cord, diploblastic. Again, I mean, all the three questions, the detail of any phylum is not required. Only in one question, mammalian characters are required. I am now, uh, you know, completing the Tinophora with you. And as many of you have already done that, so you can just revise Tinophora with me, okay? So phylum Tinophora, okay, phylum Tinophora, Tinophora, question number one is, what are the special characteristics or exclusive, exclusive characteristics in phylum Tinophora, okay? Exclusive characteristic in phylum Tinophora is that it is exclusively marine, okay? Exclusively marine. I am not saying that this is the only phylum where exclusively marine, but if a statement is given like that, all members of Tinophora marine, it is a correct statement. Other features in Tinophora, yes, but in Tinophora, they have got comb plates, okay? So comb plates, eight comb plates, are present on the body and they help in what is the function of comb plates they help in yes locomotion i can hear some people are also saying locomotion very good now third statement uh, is about uh, tenophora is that uh, <clears throat> okay now they reproduce only sexually okay so only sexual mode of reproduction sexual reproduction only sexual reproduction. This is again a unique feature in such invertebrate, very lower, lower non-chordates, such a feature, they reproduce only sexually, right? Of course, they are hermaphrodite. There is no doubt about that. They are hermaphrodite. Fertilization, fertilization is external. Fertilization is external. Uh, development is indirect, indirect, okay? and they are hermaphrodite. This is there, this is there, hermaphrodite. So these are the normal thing. Uh, I mean, uh, not exclusive one, but this is an exclusive feature that only sexual mode of reproduction, okay? And they are exclusively marine. All forms are marine forms, and there is no fresh water, and uh, also they have comb plates. Eight comb plates are there, and therefore the name Tinophora, Tinophora. Another feature which is very special about them, that a well-marked bioluminescence, bioluminescence, well-marked bioluminescence. This is also important, okay? It is well-marked, well-marked. Well-marked means in most of the uh, animals in Tinophora, they are visible, right? 
I am not saying that bioluminescence is only present in Tinophora. No, I am saying that it is well marked, like <clears throat> more than more than average number of animals, they have bioluminescence. They can emit cold light. They can emit blue light or cold light. Okay, but you bioluminescence. So these are some, uh, uh, you know, normal, normal uh, features about that. You know that they are diploblastic. They are diploblastic. You know that they are radially symmetrical, radially symmetrical. You know that their digestion, their digestion is both external as well as internal. Digestion is both external and internal, diploblastic, radially symmetrical, and digestion is both. And very important thing, they don't have, right? They don't have, don't have uh, nidoblast, okay? Nidoblast, nidoblast. They don't have nidoblast. The stinging cells, they don't have that, okay? But other things which are common, they are diploblastic, radially symmetrical, and digestion is extracellular as well as intracellular, right? Just like the, uh, you know, cylindrata. Now, examples of them. One example already you have seen. Example in the book, they have given a laddu like thing and then the two tentacles. The two tentacles going like this. And the eight comb plates can be seen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight comb plates, and these are the two tentacles, right? This is pleurobrachia. This is pleurobrachia. Okay, pleurobrachia. Even if I'm not able to hear you, you can recall, you can repeat this name in your, uh, you know, at your home. Okay, pleurobrachia, pleurobrachia. Very lightly, you can repeat pleurobrachia, pleurobrachia. These names can be memorized by repeating the name. I mean, how I learned the name, pleuro means by the side and brachia. Brachia means arms. Brachium, brachia. So the tentacles look like arms are on both the side. Therefore, the name, okay. Another name, a very uh, easy name to remember, and that is Bache Tino Plena. Tino plena. Another name is Tino plena. Tino plena. Tino plena. Pleurobrachia. Pleurobrachia. Tino plena. Very, very good. Okay. <clears throat> so these are some important points about Tinophora beta. And that's all that you need to know about Tinophora. Now, what questions can I can make question? For example, write the features. Write the features. Common to, common to, common to <coughs> Nidaria, common to Nidaria and Tinophora, which are common to Nidaria and Tinophora. Let me just recall how many we can write down here, which are common to Nidaria and Tinophora. <coughs> it is an interesting question. Yes, guys, come on, start. Yes, both are diploblastic, radially symmetrical. Yes, bacho, they are diploblastic and they are radially symmetrical. Radially symmetrical. Very good. What else? What else? Common feature? Yes, they are diploblastic, radially symmetrical. I accept that. Very good. Any other feature? Digestion. Very good. They are digestion, also common. So digestion is both. It is both external and internal. Very good. Digestion is both external and internal. Any other thing that you can think of? Okay. Any other thing? Yes, sexes are not separate. So both are hermaphrodite. Both are hermaphrodite. Hermaphrodite. Both are hermaphrodite. Very good. Very good. Both are hermaphrodite. Can you think of the fertilization? External, internal, fertilization, external, internal, external, again, so this is external and this is again a feature which is common, which is common to Nidaria and Tinophora, common to Nidaria and Tinophora, diploblastic, radially symmetrical, digestion is external and internal, they are hermaphrodite, 
and fertilization is external okay and uh, <clears throat> any other thing now let us note down the feet these are enough five are more than enough okay but two now which are <clears throat> now let us note down exclusive characters exclusive exclusive right so we are going to write the characters which are present in these phylum only ante phylum nidaria and phylum tenophora tenophora phylum nidaria and tenophora come on now who will tell me uh, let's start with <coughs> incomplete digestive system but a organ system nahi bolenge they have organ level are ha they have organ level of organization a very beautiful thing you can write here they have organ level of organization sorry uh, they have tissue level of sorry tissue level both have tissue level of organization so we don't say organ system or even organ they have tissue level of yes they have tissue level of organization so beta these are the six points which are common now nidaria come on nidaria nidaria exclusive feature five exclusive feature about nidaria number one they have nidoblast very good nidoblast which are not present in tenophora very good number two which is not present in tenophora yes yes we can say metagenesis metagenesis term very good any other feature they have dual form polyp medusa okay so they have got polyp and medusa and that form is also not there they have metagenesis also not there nidoblast are exclusive to, to uh, nidaria and not present in tenophora okay any other thing exclusive to nidaria and not present in tenophora exclusive to nidaria very good morning good morning gusant good morning exclusive exclusive to nidaria and not present in tenophora coral acha <laughs> example we can give example okay examples so corals are nidarians okay corals i take that corals are nidarians but that come in example no problem i will take that now let's come to exclusive to tenophora not present in nidaria <clears throat> yes one more thing yes someone has written they are both fresh water and marine yes i think that point is a valid point they are both they live in marine mostly marine mostly marine and few are fresh water like for example hydra is fresh water mostly marine hydra is fresh water let's talk about tenophora first point you are saying is the comb plates very good i am i can take that comb plates okay so first thing which is only present in tenophora then someone or two few people are writing bioluminescence bioluminescence which is well marked yes there are few more points 3 4 at least five points you can write about tenophora which are exclusive yes they reproduce exclusively sexually only sexual only sexual mode of reproduction only sexual mode of reproduction yes any other any other feature which is common i mean which is exclusive exclusive yes they are exclusively marine very good they are exclusively marine very good i take that exclusively marine any other feature tentacles are present in both tentacles are present in both tentacles is not something lasso cells are there but that will be more than ncrt beta <clears throat> that will be more than ncrt acha someone has reminded me a very important thing in common to nidaria and tenophora although that person has written it wrong but that has reminded me correctly here that beta if i write here something which is common to nidaria and tenophora is mesoglia beta mesoglia mesoglia is something which is present in both mesoglia mesoglia 
इज समथिंग प्रेजेंट इन बोथ मीजो गिलिया ठीक है बेटा तो जो भी डिप्लो ब्लास्टिक होते हैं बेटा डिप्लो ब्लास्टिक होंगे इफ दे आर डिप्लो ब्लास्टिक दे हैव मीजो गिलिया अ जेली लाइक मटीरियल बिटवीन देयर आउटर बॉडी वॉल एंड देयर इनर बॉडी वॉल अ जेली लाइक मटीरियल ओके सो दिस इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट एन इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट in fact more important than the previous page so these are the exclusive features exclusive features and these are common features okay so we have written common features diploblastic radially symmetrical digestion and uh, being hermaphrodite fertilization is external and tissue level of organization and they have got mesoglia now which is exclusive feature nidaria they have got nidoblast metagenesis because they have got two form polyp medusa and this term if it comes it is obviously used in uh, nidaria then uh, they may be marine or fresh water mostly marine but some may be fresh water like hydra now coming here exclusive feature they have got eight comb plates for for uh, you know locomotion then they have got bioluminescence uh, they are only bioluminescence well marked they have only sexual mode of reproduction and they are exclusively marine these are exclusive feature only present in tenophora okay and then of course examples examples as per ncert examples and acha one more thing they are commonly known as they are commonly called sea gooseberries sea gooseberries they are commonly called sea gooseberries or sea walnut they are commonly called sea gooseberries and sea walnut okay so another point i can mention here because ncert has mentioned that so five points here i have mentioned which are uh, you know which can be used only for tenophora i think everyone understood this thing and yes we can call them as comb jellies we can uh, yes comb jellies i have given them name because uh, you know it is given in ramesh gupta uh, tenophora they are the comb comb jellies and ncert has said that for them we can commonly call them sea gooseberries and sea walnut and you remember that laddu like structure and the two tentacles okay so it look like a gooseberry or walnut okay bachcho ah uh-huh, very good very good very good ओके सो हाइपोस्टोम बेटा हाइपोस्टोम दोनों में है माउथ के नीचे हाइपोस्टोम ये ठीक है बेटा मतलब ओके यू कैन टेक दैट द वर्ड हाइपोस्टोम द वर्ड हाइपोस्टोम इट्स नॉट अ वैलिड आई एम टेलिंग यू इट्स नॉट अ वैलिड वर्ड कि भाई वी कैन वैलिड पॉइंट वी कैन राइट अबाउट दैट हाइपोस्टोम इज द माउथ एट द रेज स्ट्रक्चर बट if a term hypostome is used in the statement that means the teacher wanna ask you that it is a common feature and uh, you know uh, this hypostome uh, the teacher wanna ask you about the nidaria nidaria but otherwise hypostome is uh, i don't think so this is something very important point okay fine bachcho so that's all about this and the two examples once again i want you to remind the two examples yes they are called pleurobrachia pleurobrachia tenoplana tenoplana and without googling without googling ketopleura anyone who remember keto sidipit larva ni beta larva ka naam mat karo don't go into that detail then in every phylum we have to write the name of larva thankfully larval names are not for neat ug Okay, tell me keto pleura. Who can answer keto pleura? Shri Ram, can you answer, beta? Keto pleura, coloblast. Ah, huh, coloblast. Yes, Preeti, you are right. Ah, uh, keto pleura. It belongs to mollusca. Chiton, keto pleura, mollusca, and tenoplana. Tenoplana is tenophora ketopleura mollusca tenoplana you know like some, some you know sometime uh, when we write when we read all the phylum 
and at that time we get confused by the name so easy tino the word tino means it is a tinophora only and ketopleura chiton these are all the molluscans ketopleura chiton all the molluscans very good shriram mollusca preeti mollusca very good i get that okay <clears throat> so bachcho that's all about this phylum the next phylum is phylum platyhelminthes let's all tighten your seat belt platyhelminthes already you know about uh, platyhelminthes which from the basis of classification many points you know about the platyhelminthes they are flat organism they are commonly called the flat worms by the name they are commonly called flat worms okay now they are dash flattened they are dash flattened if you remember in one day when i was telling you that which one is dorsal which one is ventral which one is right lateral which one is left lateral on that day i told you that how flattening occurs in case of phylum platyhelminthes come on so what type yes you are right 3 4 5 6 correct answers good they are dorso ventrally flattened they are dorso dorso ventrally dorso ventrally flattened okay that means uh, what you see the animal okay so the animal that you see suppose okay so one side is a dorsal side and the other side is a ventral side and these are the lateral sides so the flattening is on dorsal and ventral so one surface is dorsal one surface is ventral this is dorso ventrally flattened other features that we know about uh, platyhelminthes okay i will write like this this is one point and 2 uh, 3 4 and 5 okay just whatever we have done so far how many of you can recall yes bachcho triploblastic very good they are triploblastic they are triploblastic triploblastic they are bilaterally symmetrical they are acelomates acelomates already already you know about them they are triploblastic bilaterally symmetrical they are acelomates acelomates okay nahi beta bharat pseudocelomates nahi hai ye they are acelomates yes digestive system is very uh, yes organ level they have organ level of organization organ level of organization and as per page number 60 organ and organ system but i i don't want to confuse you i am only writing organ level because if you have to choose one then organ level yes guys 6 7 8 and 9 come on other points that already we know about them without going into the detail okay ha huh, incomplete digestive system incomplete digestive system very good so they have got incomplete incomplete digestive digestive system incomplete digestive system their elementary canal elementary canal is poorly developed it is poorly developed poorly developed elementary canal is poorly developed or or in some cases it is absent absent example in all tape worms all type of tape worms in all type of tape worms it is absent or it is poorly developed and uh, this is incomplete digestive tract uh beta aisa bolunga incomplete digestive incomplete digestive tract tract okay because only one opening which is used for ingestion as well as ha huh, very good regeneration capacity okay we will go with examples now uh, excretion now they have excretory excretory organ now acha ye jo from here we are writing the point so this point Uh, we have not done in the uh, you know basis of classification uh, in the basis of classification we say elementary canal poorly developed or absent for example tapeworm and uh, this is a parasitic adaptation this is a parasitic parasitic adaptation parasitic adaptation okay and uh, <clears throat> already we have discussed this point 
that in uh, you know in the endoparasites you will have that their uh, elementary canal is very poorly developed or it is totally absent because they are absorbing the digested nutrients from their body surface okay bachche so this is the parasitic adaptations in fact they have hooks and suckers okay so hooks and suckers are present in place of them hooks and suckers are present in place of them okay done uh, i know that hooks and suckers is not uh, in any place here we have not done hooks and suckers but uh, whenever i tell you about that uh, elementary canal is poorly developed i say that uh, they have got hooks and suckers which is more developed but elementary canal is poorly developed if you remember your uh, organism and population if you remember organism and population some parasites some parasites are i you know that some parasites are uh, they are more, uh, they have only one host right some parasites have more than one host now when they have more than one host one host is called primary and the other host is called secondary now who is the primary host the primary host is the one where dash reproduction takes place and the secondary host is the one where dash repro uh, dash reproduction takes place come on primary and secondary host are classified primary and secondary host come on bachcho primary primary sexual secondary asexual very good primary sexual and secondary asexual primary sexual and secondary asexual okay bachcho now please learn that most of them are endoparasites they are endoparasites in animals endoparasites in animals most of them most of them are mostly endoparasites in animal and here i will write beta but this guy called planaria planaria is free living it is free living planaria is free living it is not a parasitic form so i'll put a star here and this is double star i'll put here that most of them uh, are endoparasites in animals and also humans humans are the accidental host humans are the accidental host now when you know that they are endoparasite one a uh, parasitic adaptation acha before that i told you that uh, uh, just a general point some parasites some parasites require two host parasites require two host to complete and this is i am just telling you general i am just telling you general so that again we will come on this page and i will write a special point about the platyhelminths come on so some parasites they have two host to complete their life cycle and even who can tell me what such parasites who require two host to complete their life cycle what those parasites are known as come on bachcho what those parasites are known as yes <coughs> liver flu <laughs> nahi beta aise parasites jinko do host chahiye what they are known as विजय श्रुति विजय स्वाति वसंत विश्वंत बच्चे यू आर गिविंग एग्जाम्पल्स ना येस दे आर कॉल्ड डाइजेनेटिक निर्मला गुंता डाइजेनेटिक वेरी गुड दे आर कॉल्ड डाइजेनेटिक पैरासाइट नहीं बेटा शरणिया हाइपर पैरासाइट इज अ डिफरेंट थिंग हाइपर पैरासाइट इज अ पैरासाइट ऑन पैरासाइट i tell you one trick for all of you those who are using a laptop 
and obviously laptop uh, if you are using the, having the microsoft office in that hmm? if you are using a laptop with microsoft office so you can uh, just speak and type rather than writing and just speak slowly and make sure that there is no noise in the room right if there is a little noise then you have to go close to the laptop microphone right or else you can speak slowly it will type so how to do that just control window and then h first window assign window sign and h sign okay then uh, a mic will appear on the screen make sure that your cursor is at the right place make sure your cursor is at the cursor you know make sure that you have already clicked when you are writing in uh, youtube you have clicked that uh, chatting place so cursor is there window and h and then mic will appear and then you speak and it will type sometimes even very exclusive scientific words can also be typed okay and i think it learns it learns slowly and digenetic so i think it will type digenetic parasite yes so i'm talking about the digenetic parasites digenetic parasites two hosts are required two hosts required one of the host is called primary host everyone listen now very carefully no typing nothing very carefully one is called primary host and one is called secondary host primary host secondary host come on primary host is also called definitive sometimes we use the word definitive host definitive host mostly we use primary but sometimes we can use definitive host secondary host is also called intermediate 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 host and uh, you know we use this word more than secondary intermediate host intermediate host so you have got primary definitive same thing and secondary and intermediate same thing now who is a primary host a primary host is the one where the parasite reproduce sexually here the parasite reproduce it reproduce sexually 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 and who is a secondary host here the parasite will just make its copies it reproduces it reproduces asexually asexually just to increase the number very uh, you know very fast just to increase the number very fast the secondary host is the one uh you know where uh, the parasite reproduce asexually just to increase the number very fast are you guys with me so far are you guys with me <clears throat> beta any problem so far good 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 you are going good done okay acha now listen why uh, a parasite need this asexual reproduction a parasite needs asexual reproduction just to make the number very high just to increase the number you understand okay why it does that just to increase the number a parasite power is not in its size because parasites are very small as compared to their host their power lies in their number coronavirus a small size we cannot even see under microscopes but its power lies in its multiplication ability right so a parasite want to multiply very much now if it use this primary host only primary host for multiplication also then it might be possible that the primary host is so much compromised it becomes so weak that it may not survive 
and when the parasite, when the host doesn't survive, you know, parasite will also become extinct. Okay, there is co-extinction of host and parasite. It is called co-extinction. So parasites are smart. Parasites are smart. Okay, what do they do? Uh, they keep some secondary host just to reproduce in a very large number and that too very fast. It is just their manufacturing unit. Okay, this is their main, main central office. Primary host, definitive host, is their central office. And this is a branch, just a remote manufacturing unit. This is, for example, for iPhone. iPhone, this is California, where all the R&D and design and all these things are being made. And once the design is made, then just manufacturing. And for manufacturing, they use India, China, Vietnam. Earlier China, but now India is also into that. Vietnam, Taiwan. These are the place where it is just, you know, multiplying. You understand? So, parasite is very smart. It keep another host so as to multiply. Some example. Some example. Okay. Example. Now, let me see who can answer it correctly. For plasmodium... For plasmodium, because for every host, we have different plasmodium, plasmodium, for plasmodium, who is the primary host? Come on, for plasmodium, who is the primary host? Huh, I'm talking about only the diagenetic parasite, yeah. Yes, primary host is mosquito, very good, mosquito. Keto, the gut of the mosquito where the sexual reproduction takes place, the fertilization takes place in the gut of the mosquito. For plasmodium, humans are intermediate host. For plasmodium, humans are intermediate host. A very important question. Very important question for need 2024. Malaria, malaria parasite plasmodium, humans are intermediate or secondary host. Another question, I think which is not given in the NCID, but I'm asking you, for elephantiasis, like Vuker area, for Vuker area, Vuker area, come on, Vuker area, which gives rise to elephantiasis, okay? Now, Vuker area, you know that there are also man and monkey, man and mosquito. Who is the primary host? Vuker area. A housefly con likh raha hai beta. Vuker beta elephant ya this. Oh, please mix. Ha, yes. Now here the primary host, Vuker area, primary host. Tell me. Nay, wrong, wrong, wrong. Vuker area, primary host. You are giving the species of mosquito. Nahi beta, Vuker area mein primary host mosquito nahi hai. Vuker area mein humans. Man is the primary host. Humans are primary host. And here the mosquitoes. Here the mosquitoes. The female, the female mosquitoes are the secondary host. I said it depends on uh, you know, parasite to parasite. I said it depends on parasite to parasite, that for this parasite, this is a primary host, this is a secondary host. That is why I asked both the questions. That don't think that we are always the uh, secondary host for the no. For a malarial parasite, humans are secondary host. But for uh, elephantiasis parasite, Vuker area, we are the primary host. In the lymphatics, you know, lymph vessels, in our lymph vessels, the, the you know, uh, fertilization takes place, the sexual reproduction takes place. Are you guys with me so far? Are you guys with me? This slide clear to everyone? I'm a little skeptical today. 
Are you guys with me? This slide clear to everyone? Very good. Learn this slide. Okay. If if don't worry, don't worry, beta. If you have a doubt here, you can learn it again. Okay. <clears throat> now tell me. So one is the R and D unit, R and D research development, the central office, the main office, and one is just a manufacturing unit. They just give the design and they ask, okay, now you multiply. Give them many, make them many. Now, some of them are very smart. They say, okay, they can keep that <clears throat> for a, for example, America. America was making them in China. But America was, you know, a little afraid of if China stopped multiplying, if China stopped manufacturing iPhone for them, right? And uh, other places like Vietnam and all, if China stop, then what? Then what will happen, right? Taiwan is not that much that we can get, we can supply the iPhone to whole world. America is smart. Knowing that there are some trade uh, problems with China, America asked India that we are developing facilities, a very large facility. Facility matlab, that, uh, you know, we can say facility uh, like uh, industry, right? That industry is called facility. America says that we will develop a very big facility in your country. And you have to make the iPhone. Design is ours. You just manufacture, manufacture. Give job to your people, manufacture. India happy. India took it happily. Now, why this is done? Why this is done? Suppose if China stopped that one day, or if their agreement problem, China stopped. Taiwan is a small country. The whole burden come on America and America does not have that much of facility because of very uh, expensive uh, workers. Therefore, it keep more than one manufacturing units, more than one uh, intermediate host. Some parasites are like that. Now listen to my words very carefully, very carefully. Some parasites uh, have more than one intermediate host so as to facilitate parasitization of their primary host. Some parasites have more than one secondary host so as to facilitate parasitization of their primary host. Just think, where have you heard this line? Where have you read this line? In some cases, parasites have more than one, more than one intermediate host so as to facilitate parasitization of their primary host. Come on. Where have you stand? Uh, where have you studied this? Have you read it somewhere? Very close. I mean, like, I'm not saying I'm speaking word to word, but meaning is almost this. <clears throat> okay, uh, I give you a hint. At that place, example was given of a flatworm, Faciola hepatica. Faciola, liver fluke. It says that the human liver fluke has more than one intermediate host. The human liver fluke has more than one intermediate host. One is a snail and one is a fish. One is a snail, one is a fish. I've given you enough hint. Please anyone try to find out where these type of lines are written. Hint number two, this is not given in this chapter. So you have to think of any other chapter where parasites are mentioned. This is not given in this chapter. 
That is a good hint I have given you. Yes, organism and population. Correct, Narayan Reddy. The chapter name, organism and population. Tell me the page number. Come on. Tell me the page number. <clears throat> I remember the page number. You tell me. If anyone of you tell me the page number, it is good that you, are, you can know. No, it's not in health. It is in, uh, yes, it is in organism and population. Very good. Organism and population. Very good. Organism and population. Organism and population. Shall I tell you the page number? So page number, page number, okay, page number, uh, both the books, okay, so the old book and the new book, for the new book, the page number is 199, for the new book, yes, the old book is 235, very good, the old book is 235, the old book is 235, and the new edition is page number 199, this is given in organism and population. It is given in organism, organism and population because it is describing the parasitism, which is an interaction of two species. Okay, organism and population and population. But, uh, so you should be able to relate these points. Okay, for example, when I do the nematode, I don't mind asking you, uh, any nematode which uh, parasitizes a plant. We'll come to that and uh, like uh, Muhammad Naveed has given the page number, Manish, Manish Challa and Sheikh Narullah, they have given the page number. Now page number given means you uh, can quickly uh, find it out, okay? And this ability is a very important, uh, you know, this focus is very, very important. But that's all about my class. I have uh, done my class. And I think now we will we'll be meeting in the new... What uh, is it? Friday, right? Okay, so tomorrow also we are meeting. And I'll be asking all these points tomorrow. And I'll be asking you, what are the intermediate hosts uh, of uh, uh, human, uh, human liver fluke? Examples of platyhelminthes. Examples of nematodes or nemathalminthes. I will be asking you tomorrow. That's all about my class, Bachum. Sharania, yes, 235, very good. And that's all about my class. Uh, God bless you, Bachum. Let's meet tomorrow. Let's meet tomorrow. And meanwhile, what you can do, you can just... Uh, uh, okay, I'll tell you one thing. How does it make? How does it make? QR code. QR code kaise aata hai? Share na? Okay. So you can take this QR code. So in your camera you can scan this QR code and uh, you can also revise the whole class by that. So you can revise the whole class by this QR code. Okay, beta? You can scan this and uh, huh, while opening the file, it will say that it is not a, a very safe file. No, no, I am, I am telling you. I am taking the responsibility. It is a safe file. God bless you, Bacho. God bless you, all of you. Liver fluke, intermediate host, snail and fish. Yes, Durga Prasad. Good. Bye-bye. Tomorrow also I will ask the same thing. Bye-bye. Take care. God bless. <clears throat> Love you all. Bye-bye.